Hi there, welcome back to the Complete Beginner's Guide to Playing the Fiddle or Playing the Violin. Today's lesson, this is lesson two, and we're going to be looking at our left hand. Where to put our fingers on the neck of the instrument and learning our very first scale, our major scale position uh, that we can use for D major or A major or G major, depending on what string we start on. And so we're gonna play our very first notes with our left hand fingers. Um, if you haven't checked out the first edition of this uh, lesson series, make sure you go back and check out lesson one, which is gonna, be an overview of all of our bow hold, uh, holding the violin, what the names of our open strings are, and playing open strings. Uh, but if you've been through all of that, welcome, and let's get on with learning about our left hand. So we have our violin up on our shoulder. We have our chin just kind of resting nicely, making sure that we keep relaxed. It's so important to keep relaxed. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I've said it before and I will keep saying it, but uh, just make sure that your shoulders are nice and relaxed and that you're not bending your body in any sort of weird way. The violin can be kind of an uncomfortable instrument and um, so it's important, it's extra important that we learn to hold it in a relaxed manner. <clears throat> okay, I want you to look down the instrument towards the scroll here, this is called the scroll, or the peg, peg box, where our pegs are. And I want you to move your hand from this position that we have here, um, which, which is kind of the beginner's position here, where we have our thumb underneath on the back of the instrument and our fingers on the top of the instrument. And we're gonna move that hand backwards all the way back to close to where the peg box is. Okay, so we wanna have our four fingers kinda of up on top of the strings and our thumb is gonna be really what's rooting us on the neck of the instrument. I want your thumb to kind of be like a rising sun or a setting sun, depending on which way you look at it, I guess. Um, it's going to be peeking over the edge of your neck, your violin's neck. But it's not going to be up sort of a whole joint or it's not going to be disappeared. We just want the top of that thumb poking over, okay? And that's going to sort of set us up for a nice hand position. So we've got our thumb. It's about a centimeter or a little less than an inch in from the nut, which is this little bit of wood here that stops the strings. And it's just peeking over. This part of our hand is going to be kind of free. That's our main, that's our main point of contact. Our first finger can kind of brush on the side here, but we really do not want, oh, <laughs> we really do not want to tense that grip. We don't want to be pressing if we can avoid it. We want this part of the hand to be kind of free, but our thumb is kind of, it's just going to be staying there. It's, not, it's going to be rooted there, but it's, um, but it's relaxed. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is all a bit of magic, really. Um, but you do get used to it. But I just really want to point out to you not to grip not to be pressing on both sides. Your first finger is allowed to touch the side for sure. But we want it to sort of be more of a guide, not, not rooted, not um, gripping. Okay. So where do we put our fingers? Um, oftentimes you can have some little uh, sticker strips that tell you where to put your fingers. And I do recommend those if you can. Um, if you can have somebody fit them to your violin. But because I can't do that for you, 
I'm going to try and best describe where to put your fingers down for our sort of most common hand position. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a gap. So I said your thumb is about a centimeter. We don't want, when we put our first finger down, we don't want it right up against the nut. We want, you know, maybe a centimeter. Now I know I'm talking in metrics, this is what I grew up with, but um, you know, we want just a little bit like that. <laughs> don't know how much that is, maybe three quarters of an inch or something like that. That's where our first finger is gonna go down. So there should be a gap behind our finger because there is actually a note between our open string and where we're gonna put our first finger most of the time. There is a note there. So just keep that in mind that at certain points, we're gonna be able to put our finger down in that spot. So there's about a, you know what, a good way to describe it, about a finger between the, your open string and where we're gonna put our first finger. And our first finger should be about where our thumb is as well. Okay. Our second finger, now it's not going to go close in to where our first finger is. There's going to be a gap there, again, probably a finger's width, okay? Now our third finger, that's going to be close to our second finger. We're not going to worry about our fourth finger just yet. That's going to come in an upcoming lesson because the fourth finger obviously is our weakest finger, so it gets a little bit of extra getting used to to use our fourth finger. We're just going to concern, be concerned with our first three fingers to start. Okay, so about a finger and then first finger, about another finger, then second finger, third finger, touching our, our second finger right in next to it. That's going to get you pretty close to in tune for our first three fingers down. But here's another way that we can test that. Um, I want you to play it along with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our open D string. I'm going to play an open D string. And hopefully you've tuned up your violin. Um, again, uh, because I'm teaching you through a, a video series here, it's going to be difficult for me to um, help you tune your violin. Um, I can play an open string and uh, you can match that note um, by using our, uh, our little fine tuners or if it's really out of tune, um, using our pegs here at the top. Try to get our D string as close to this note as possible. Okay, there's our open D string. I'll play it one more time. And just check your open D string, make sure it sounds kind of the same as this. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put my first finger down. Ah, I'm going to play an open D and then a first finger. Okay, so we've learnt about taking our bow strokes. Now we're going to do that with an open D. So play this with me. Okay, now we're going to put our first finger down. Remember, it's about where our thumb is, about one finger uh, away from the nut. It's going to sound like this. Okay, let's play that note again. First finger, keep that first finger down. Okay, we're going to try our second finger now. Now remember, there's about a finger and then our second finger goes down. That's what our second finger sounds like. Okay, and now our third finger is going to go in nice and close to our second finger. Okay. Okay, now keep that pattern in mind. That pattern, we've got a gap and then a finger. A gap and then a finger and then a finger really close. So it's kind of like this, if you can see that. <laughs> um, okay. So that, that pattern is 
our most common uh, pattern of fingers for major scales on the violin. Uh, for major scales and this, the keys of the open strings, right? Um, let's try that series again. So we're going to start with the open D, first finger, second finger, and third finger. And we're going to stop there. So I want you to play this along with me again. You ready? Open string, here we go. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. So you might be starting to recognize that sound as a major scale, if you've ever heard a major scale before. Let me play you the whole D major scale here. That's our whole D major scale in an ascending manner. So ascending means going from low to high in pitch. Um, descending means going from high to low in pitch, right? Um, so this is an ascending D major scale. We've got our finger pattern of gap, gap, close, right? And we're going to do that on that D string, and then we're going to do it on the A string, and that and that's going to be our scale. So it's exactly the same on both strings. Just before we get into that, I want you to make sure that, how's your wrist feeling? You remember when I talked about how to hold the bow and we, we put our hand down beside our body and we let everything relax and we, want, we wanted to make sure that that's how we're holding our bow. That's exactly how we want to be holding our violin as well. Put your hand down at your side and particularly I want you to think about your wrist. When we have our hand down by the side, our wrist isn't going like that and it's not going like this, right? It's, if anything, it's just ever so slightly curved this direction and our fingers come to curves and our thumbs curve. So when we hold up our violin, I want to make sure that our thumb is not stressed, it's not bent this direction. Our fingers are nice and curved, and particularly that our wrist has a nice curve to it, right? It's not going this way, that way. Okay, because that's going to start hurting. <laughs> also, just make sure that your shoulders are still relaxed. Are they still relaxed? Okay, so now that we've made sure that we're all nice and relaxed, Everything's nice and curved and there's no tension. Let's start with our D major scale. Starting on open D, right? Open D string. We've got good dogs uh, everywhere. So second string, second lowest string, that's our D. We're gonna do our pattern, our finger pattern. Open one, two, three on the D string and then we're gonna roll our bow across to the A string and go up that same pattern. Okay, here we go. Do it along with me or watch me and then do it in your own time. Here we go. Cross to the A string, so bring our elbow down. Okay, then we're going to go descending, so back down. We should have our three fingers down. Keep your fingers down when you put them down. Don't sort of take them off. We want to keep them in the place uh, that they've been put down so that they're there for us when we take our fingers off again. Okay, so we're going down this time, starting with our third finger on the A string. slightly and our whole arm we're going to get onto the D string again put our three fingers down okay so you should have just played your very first scale all fiddle tunes are made up of just combinations of these notes 
made out of scales. So we're really close to, you know, in a funny way, I mean, you might not think it, but <laughs> we're really close to being able to just start learning fiddle tunes here, you know, because we've got our notes of the D major scale. There's tons of tunes that just use those notes you just played. Okay. One other thing is that same pattern can be done starting on the A string or starting on the G string for, this, for the corresponding um, scale. So if we want to do an A major scale, we start on open A string and we do that same pattern. So let's do that together. A, open A string. A major scale. Let's start that on the low string, on the G string. All right. Okay, we've learned our first three scales. We've learned D major scale, G major scale, and A major scale. We've learned how to put our fingers down on the strings and where to put them. By the way, what part of the fingers do we want to be using? We really want to be kind of using right on the sort of fleshy bit of the finger. Not really on the tips too much. We don't want to get like our fingernails um, too close to uh, the fingerboard or the string, but we're just going to be sort of putting like that fleshy part of the finger down on the string. Okay, like that. Well, congratulations, you've learned your first three scales. Next lesson, we're going to be learning our very first tune. Um, we're going to learn to play something that you all already know. It's going to be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You know this tune, you know how to sing this tune, you know how it goes in your head. So that's going to be a really easy one for us all to pick up together. And it's going to use parts of our major scale that we've just learned. We're just going to kind of like rearrange certain notes in, in different ways from that scale. And we'll be able to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in no time. And then we'll be off to the races, we'll be ready to start learning other tunes from there. Um, so this is really, this is moving along quickly here, uh, but thanks for joining me. If you haven't checked out my Patreon page, please do. It's patreon.com forward slash George Jackson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Um, thanks for being here and we'll see you next lesson.